Hey there, I'm here at Sweetwater in Fort Wayne, Indiana, checking out their brand new music store facility, which has got to be one of the most impressive I've ever seen. In the band and orchestra department, they've got a unique feature you won't find anywhere else. The demo rooms for trying out instruments are equipped with a custom-built reverb simulator. It's incredibly cool, and yesterday I met up with the guy who designed and built this thing for an insider's look. So I'm here with Daniel Fisher, who designed this incredible reverb room. Daniel, can you tell us a little bit about how this works? Yeah, so it, it basically came from Chuck Zurich wanting to have practice rooms where you could hear your instrument in a more realistic environment instead of a very, very dead sound room, which this is. Daniel is one of the many very talented people that work at Sweetwater, and he's written a ton of articles on sound design and synths, which you can check out on the Sweetwater blog. We came up with this system where we have a rolling rack in a back room, and there are eight channels of audio. There are actually eight speakers in these rooms, um, a pair of microphones. Uh, there's an entire MIDI system to choose all the correct things for the reverbs and the delays. And that all comes down to this panel of four switches, which controls everything out there. Let's say I'm here at Sweetwater, I'm testing a saxophone out, and this is gonna create like a artificial reverb for me, but I'm gonna hear it as though I'm in that room. Yeah, and the tricky part is, you've got speakers playing stuff out with microphones picking stuff up and it's designed not to feedback because it's very much going to want to feedback into itself all right so does it matter which direction nope. i'm pointing this is drake who's a sweetwater sales engineer and also a great sax player i found him trying out the better sax alto during his lunch break and he did a little demo of the room for us if you call sweetwater you can even ask for drake and he will tell you exactly what it's like to play on this saxophone or any of the other gear they've got in the wood in the apartment. Okay, let's try that. Let's try to change the reverb up. So, what are you going on here? You're on the hall? I'm on medium. Oh, that's only medium? Yeah, oh, so okay. we can do large. Let's go let's large. The salespeople over there actually play the instruments so that they can give customers the best possible service. Cool. Let's try this small. See what that does. On the panel, we got a little instructions here. It's just four switches. The first one's off. Hey, we are dry as can be. Here's a small room. Hey. Hey. Then I go to a medium room. Hey! And then we go for crazy, we go to a large room. Hey! Oh wow, all right, I'm gonna have to try this out. Now the tech used to make this all work is top secret, of course, but I somehow convinced Daniel to show me the black box. Oh, so this is the thing here? Yeah. Oh, it's you could show it, you could trust me. This is, I'm the only person that will see this. And once I had a minute, I gave the room a proper test myself using my Better Sax, Alto Saxophone, and Burnin mouthpiece, both of which can be purchased at Sweetwater.com. Go ahead and give my friend Drake a call if you're interested. All right, so this is off, no reverb. <laughs> Let's try it with the small room. Not bad. Let's see what it sounds like in a medium room. Pretty cool. And now the large room. Now go watch this video next to learn how a master craftsman in New York is making exquisite saxophone necks by hand.